I just got the Beehive Smart Indoor Sprinkler Timer. Um, uh, we often will travel for a couple of weeks at a time, and I want to be able to remotely control my sprinkler system. Uh, so let's go. So here the box is open. This is all the things that you're going to find in there. You've got the Beehive. I don't know what this thing is yet. Obviously the power supply. It looks like screwdriver stuff. Instructions. So my goal here is to replace this uh, old manual I don't know, it's automatic Rainbird uh, system. And one thing I did is I took a picture of uh, what each thing is so that I can track it. I also opened up my uh, box and I took a picture here of uh, different things. So orange is one and yellow is two, uh, etc. I need to make sure I know which number goes with which. So make sure you take a picture of your old system so that you know what goes where, otherwise, everything's gonna be jacked up. So it looks like first thing I need to do is take these off. This slides off right here, this little protective case. And we can now see all the wires coming in. Now this is the power cord for this. So I've already unplugged it. And now I need to disconnect all of these wires. Now it looks like we've got some mounting brackets for this old unit. The mounting screw for the old unit was here, but when I uh, put this up here, my cords won't reach. So I've got to move the pilot screw to a different location. So I'm gonna pre-drill a hole. I'm just use the old one. It then has these other two holes. I'll pre-drill these, just to mount it securely to this piece of wood. So I discovered something interesting. This came equipped with the device. This is a straight edge screwdriver and these are Phillips holes. So I do have a small Phillips and so that's what I'm using to hook things up. And now it's a matter of hooking up the uh, wires. So I've got all the wires here. I'm gonna put the common here. Now one thing I did a little research on this is there are two commons and there's a common here and a common here but i don't need to worry about uh, they're both the same and now i'm going to use my uh, i took a picture and i'm going to then make sure i took a picture before so i know that uh, i know that zone one for example is the yellow one thing also i did is i pre um unscrewed these so these things can just fit right in and then i screw them in and now i will screw them all in the cover plate notice that this is like a little cover thing and it comes on like this it's going to hide the wires i'm going to comes like that kind of cleans that up and then i snap this on and now i'm going to take the uh, power thing plug it in and notice I have lights. Now at this stage, I am headed to the app. So I'm going to the app store and searching for Beehive. It's this black thing right here. I'm gonna install it. Create an account. I've created the account. I think I'm gonna say allow on this. I click add a timer. This is a new device. I have an indoor timer, so I'll click on that. It's powered on. All right, I need to allow Bluetooth. We found a device. You bet, that's it. Connecting to device. Retrieving, scanning for Wi-Fi networks. I think I have to connect it to my Wi-Fi network. There's my Wi-Fi network. All right, so notice it's got some firmware updates. So I bought this straight off Amazon and looks like it's got some moments to do some updates, which is fine.
I'll say use my current location. Now I'm going to test each zone. And zone one is on. Awesome. So what I did, you might have noticed I got out of the program and then I'm having to do this manually this way. Somehow there's a setup program and I've gotten out of that. But, um, and it's, for some reason it didn't turn off, turn on when I wanted to, which is not cool. But then I just restarted the app and everything is now working as I'm setting everything up. So now I'm just going through each zone. Actually, I want to test it. So I click test up here, click. So now I'm setting up to uh, do the program. So, so I'm just program A. I'm going to say main program thing. This is my water everything program. Um, add zones. I found about 20 minutes. We have cheap water here, so is it done? What if I could reorganize which one I want first? Because actually, I want this one first. And I'm going to do those on Mondays and Saturdays. Because I get garbage on Tuesdays and Fridays. I don't want my garbage getting wet. Okay. Start date today. Forever. Oh, add start time. I wanted to do early in the morning. 2.30 in the morning. There we go. Save. So that's the main program. All right, so I set that up for each zone, and we'll see what happens. I'll play around with that. So anyways, there's a lot of things in this app that to just start playing with and experiment. I'm headed on vacation in just a, a few days, and when I do that, I want to make sure that this I can have control of it from wherever I am in the world. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that's how you do the smart watering. So it's a very fascinating thing of when it's done, and, yeah. So, so far, I'm a fan. Uh, it was super easy to set up. I think I'm in about a half an hour. And the biggest thing was waiting for the firmware to update. I'm getting wet right now <laughs> from my sprinkler heads, which probably need to be adjusted. But uh, I think this is the, the tool for me. Um, now, no, I bought the indoor sprinkler system because I was able to install it in my garage. Um, I know that you don't want it sitting out in the sun. So highly recommend so far. Um, I guess I'll know in the next uh, couple of years if it's a long-term great investment. Um, yeah.